It was two days ago that you should have bought and covered stocks, right? And not today. This, today is not the day. Did you execute the way you could have executed? If you could do it over again, what would you have done? Uh, I actually would have done a lot different. What would be a problem for shorts is if it breaks down and stays below 26, because it's going to go towards 24. So again, that would be very bullish. So again, we're going to put SPY back to bullish trend until you get back above 26, and we'll just oscillate. And you look at the dollar, it's top end of the range for a couple days in a row. This is typically what a macro market move wants to do. It wants to wash out the week. It wants to get you to make a bad mistake. This is exactly where you should be making your bets on dollars. You should not feel anxiety. You should feel confidence uh, in executing on the process. We don't recommend panic. No, there's no panic. Again, we told you to sell some. I think it was this day last week and the day before that last week. Now we tell you to buy some. And if you can't handle a 1% correction in gold or anything, you should stop doing this. Well, the volatility signal's not concerning me at all. At all. If anything, the volatility premium uh, that went away and then became a deep discount. There are only a few times in a month where you can gross up your long positions in treasuries, in gold, in utilities, in REITs, whatever it is that we're buying. So you should be excited about those days, I mean, in terms of a buying opportunity. And that's what it is here uh, this morning in gold.